Hi guys, it's Becky. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're already a subscriber, then welcome back. It has been a hot minute since I've uploaded a video and that is not through no fault of my own. Um, we've moved house and we um, we did everything all before about our sky and our internet and for some reason they've messed up and we're not going to get internet until the 13th of November. I'm filming this on the 5th of November and you're going to see it probably towards the end of November. But I still wanted to do the back planning in my Hobonichi Cousin Avec because I wanted to turn this into a memory plan. So I am going to be planning the week of the 19th through to the 25th using this gorgeous kit from a So Cute Planner sub box. Look how cute these little animals are. So you get your four boxes, your date covers, day dots, washi, some glitter headers, scripts, some icons. Look at those, so cute. Weekend banner, uh, your little things, some quarter boxes, some bill juice, some Monday through Sunday, some icons, some water trackers, habit trackers, checklists, and your ombre four boxes. And as well, you get these foiled overlays. So this says Fall Breeze, Autumn Leaves. I love Fall most of all. Fabulous and Welcome Fall. And then you get these full box overlays and some little flag overlays as well as some deco there. And you also get this little deco sheet. So I'm really excited about using this kit. But the problem I have, what I've noticed is I want to use the washi and all the full boxes and I just don't know how I'm going to do that and also the kit is for a standard size so that means one thing we need to do some sticker surgery let me find my what I'm going to do is mark this up. Do I want them to go all the way across the bottom? No. What I might do is use the slice tool to try and, although I do not. Do not want. to cut any animals in half. So we've got that little bear there. And then we've got this bit of washi. So cute. Yeah, so we're all moved in. The house is lovely. We haven't quite uh, unpacked everything uh, like these are going to need put in as well we haven't quite unpacked everything yet we have been I am going to have to cut these down properly We've managed to get Willow and Loki settled into school and oh, that's too short. Oh, I'm rusty, guys. I'm a rusty planner. Um, yeah, Casey went in for her test and she did amazing. As per usual, they rang today. They put her in a set. She, she can go to school on Monday. However, we're having trouble with... Let's use this. We're having trouble with school transport at the moment. I need my... Permanent. We're having trouble with school transport at the minute. Um, 
because Willow starts school at um, sorry let, let me just mark these off so that's those cut uh, yeah so Willow uh, starts school which is literally down the road at um, I can't think today. What time does Willow start school? Willow start school at yeah. Willow start school at twenty to nine, which is fine. It's literally round the corner. It takes two minutes, and so we drop her off at at twenty two. Then we drive to Loki's nursery, which is, um, he goes into nursery nine till three. So that's fine. We drive straight to Loki's nursery, drop him off. On the pickup, we pick up Loki first at three and then Willow comes out at 20 past three. So it works fine. Casey's school is half an hour away and she has to be there at... 10 to 9 and then she finishes at 20 past 3 so I have no idea how I'm meant to get them all into school on time we applied for school transport we applied for that quite a while ago and we've been ringing up to try and check on it and we haven't been getting any responses so my husband rang up again today and they've said oh sorry we've made a mistake we haven't even started processing this even though we sent it weeks ago so we've basically told them if they don't process it then you know she can't go to school we literally how do you pick who goes and who doesn't like technically Casey is 12 so one might argue that her education is more important than uh willows who is um six and loki obviously is three and at nursery but loki needs to go to nursery he's got so much energy look at that it's so pretty he's got so much energy and like he needs to be around other children his age he needs to socialize willow because she's had problems with her hearing since a child, she um, she also needs to be in school so that she doesn't fall. I'm just going to cut these glitter headers down so she doesn't fall behind. So it's actually really difficult to decide who gets to go. It, I just think it's shocking that we're put in this situation. And we've done everything right. We've followed all the guidelines, all the time guidelines. And they're quite happy. The council are quite happy to say, well, we've got 21 days. But then when the 21 days is up, in case it's been offered to school, for them to turn around and say, oh, we've not even uh, begun to action this. And then, oh, and because... And we get the 21 days and we're like, oh, well, you've already had the 21 days. Just hate incompetent departments in any department. I'm not going to lie, moving's been a bit of a shock to my system. Like getting used to sleeping in a new house, getting used to a new routine. The kids being in a routine, it's all... It's all come at once and not having internet is, I hate it, it's horrible. <sighs> right, I hate it, it's horrible because I can record all these videos, but then I'm like, well, when are they going to get uploaded? And I feel like I'm letting you guys down by not uploading and... I promise as soon as my internet gets back on track, I'm on it 100%. But at the minute, all I can do is record these videos as and when and then just upload them. And then you probably get two or three videos to watch a day, which uh, hopefully you'll like. Right, we are on full boxes. So 
what I was thinking is a four box in the sidebar and then I might split up the week with four boxes because I'm hoping mm, they're not going to fit, are they? They're not going to fit. Right, we'll do... The thing with these overlays is you're not going to be able to see them as much, I don't think. And these ones might cover them too much. I think I'm going to put this... This one up the top here. Bring you down so you can see. These are actually quite sticky, so I... me who makes mistakes all the time. Oh, so cute. So, so cute. Then doing my usual, spreading every single sticker I've got all around me, making a huge mess. Right. So, sidebar. I'm going to cut down these orange headers because I'm going to use those throughout. It just feels like as well, anything that could go wrong has gone wrong. To start off with, um, the removals came in the morning to pack all that stuff up. And... Oh, that, that's a full size. It's all right, I'll just stick the other end on. Um, they turned up in a in a van. It, we'd done the quotes and everything, and they said it would be two vans. So they turned up in the van and started loading up, and we were fine. We were like, okay, this is cool. And then we they're Polish, and we heard them talking a lot in their own language, and it just sounded like something was, wasn't right. Sorry, let me, yeah. It sounded like something wasn't right and um the next thing we know the company is ringing my husband there's not a lot of um there's only these actual boxes in the kit um which doesn't really matter but i just thought there'd be more uh yeah the company rang and basically said that we had under quoted what we had and my husband was the one that did the the online quote. There's my first mistake. If you want something right, do it yourself. Because it turns out my husband had put on the quote, one box per room. We're like a five-person family in a six-bed house. How he thinks that it's one box per room is beyond me. So, yeah, he'd completely underman underestimated what we had which meant that they wanted to charge us an extra 600 pounds for a truck same size and uh, with a lot of back and forward sorry which ones do i want to use i'll use these up a lot of backwards and forwards we managed to get them down to a smaller truck um and it was 200 pounds extra which meant that a lot of stuff couldn't come uh which means we were having to try and pick and choose what to leave and what to bring which no one wants to do really uh so we left our dining chairs because they were going to take up a lot of room um we left our christmas tree because we needed to get a new one this year anyway um, so just random things we had to, but what annoyed me, it was, there was stuff that I wanted to take that I kept saying to them, you know, this is important. I really want this to go. And they'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they wouldn't put it on and they'd put something like the barbecue. I'm not being funny. I wasn't bothered about the barbecue. I was more bothered about things that we needed to live than a barbecue. And despite the fact of me telling them that I wanted this stuff on, um, they were bloody, they weren't listening. So, yes, luckily, the, 
we managed to fit everything that we need. We did have to get rid of a few things. Um, but also my brother-in-law and sister-in-law live around the corner. And so they we we took the kids' bikes and things because we couldn't couldn't fit them in. We took the kids' bikes and things around there. I'm just thinking about what I want to do next. I think I'm gonna put this overlay up here. Yeah, we left the kids' bikes there thinking, you know, we can go back and get them. Not a problem. But obviously now, that's pretty. Obviously now we're in lockdown, so we can't go and get the kids' bikes like we wanted to. It's, uh, the house I've moved in is lovely. The only thing I didn't like about that was I lost my office space. Let's do some planning and then I'll yap after. So I do want to lay these. I do want all these four boxes. Well, I suppose I can. I really want this hedgehog. And a video went up every single day this week. So I'm going to leave. I'm going to go from the seven o'clock mark um oh i just love all of them what i might do is go across Hold it down. There we go. And oh my god, I love them all. Love them all. So yeah, I've lost my office space. So I'm now in the living room, our living room. is a long living room it's a living room diner i could yeah. i'm gonna try cutting this go yay used all the full boxes yeah it's a living room diner it's like long both ways don't know what i'm trying to do there and so one side is my office and the other side is the living room we are going to get some um we are going to get some uh, a room divider. Right, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to start actually planning, which is why you came. So what am I going to use to mark videos? Do we have any little, little flags? We don't, we do. We do have little flags and we have flag overlays. So how many of those do we have? One, two, three or five. Not really much of the blue in the kit. Oh, they're not flags. I'm going to have to cut them. Why give flag overlays? Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out each of these flags. I'm going to lay them down. I'm going to put a 
overlay on the top and I'm going to do that all the way along and then I'll be back. Right, sorry, change my mind because all these flags are different sizes. I'm not going to do that. So what I thought I'd do is bring in... I might use those ones. I'm going to use these stars from Pebble & Co. And I'm just going to put a star and this colour matches the kit really well. So I'm just going to put a star over the number six. Uh, did I do a video on Saturday? I can't remember if I did one on Saturday. I'm sure I did. I definitely would have put one up on Sunday. But we'll find out as we go through. Uh, if you haven't heard of Pebble & Co, she is a UK-based shop. And she does Disney-themed stickers as well as all different kinds of planning and icons and date covers and everything. She's got a good mixture in her shop if you'd like to go and have a look there. So that is those. Next, we're going to need some checklists. Some days isn't as many as others, but I am going to put the full checklist down. So, I can write any to do's down because this was a busy week preparing for the move. There we go. I do want to put the two habit trackers and I think I'm going to use this. Which one do I want to use? None of those. So blue. And pink. Right, so let's start filling her in. Monday's video. So I'm going back through my Stalogy because that's where I write everything. Monday's video was a stackery haul and Tuesday's was an A6 plan with me. Wednesday was an ASMR Hobo Daily. ASMR, for those of you that don't know, is just like a complete silent. Well, not complete silent because you can hear like this. The the papers and the stickers without any talking. Some people like them, so I thought that was a good video to do this, that, the, that, can't speak again. Thursday was my Hobonichi haul. Friday was my Moton A6 flip. Did I do one on Saturday? No. Sunday? No. Yeah, I did. Sunday was my B6 Stalogy daily pages. That was that. Then 
this was journaling and vacation and I know I did that all week and I still like to put my habit trackers in here so that you know I can look back and see if I think my mood was changing or anything I can look back and see when it was now I'm going back into my into my a6 modem because that's where i keep my youtube stats so this was 741 which jumped up from 685 and then my insta was 380 so that went up by 56 and that went up by nine. I'm not doing as much on Instagram as I possibly could be because I'm not 100% au fait with what I'm doing with it. So on Monday, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and write out the jobs and things that we did on these days and then I will be back. are the little lists for that now what i'm gonna do is some half boxes just for like a highlight of each day Some things that I don't just want to put in a list. Right, let's see how this goes. I just realised I've nearly done this whole video and not even asked any of you how you are. How rude am I? So how are you all guys? How are you feeling? You feeling shit? Same as I am? Well, I'm not feeling shit. I'm just feeling a bit overwhelmed with everything that's going on but they do say moving house is one of the most stressful things you'll ever do so i do want to mark that chris was away these two days and he came back there are important things to note thursday I had a tutorial that I really wanted to attend and I did attend. So I'll put that in there. S Friday wanted to use wanted to use a box for Friday as well because Willow, bless her little heart, got star of the week at school. It was her last day at that school for some reason these ones are thinner but it's okay start of the week i'm so proud and right saturday and sunday um let's have a look oh i didn't put the weekend banner down should we put it at the bottom we do like a weekend banner. 
Well, I like a weekend banner. I put it a bit high because I don't want it to cover animals' heads. Um, Saturday. What did I do on Saturday? I did an online food shop. Let's have a look. I'm trying to just use the stickers on here. So I did an online food shop, which Chris then collected on Sunday. There we go, love that. I did do do need to cut these little boxes down. Because I did a few things. Don't normally use check boxes on the weekends. But like I said, we have it had quite a lot to do. Tiny bit off. I'm not going to let that worry me. So on Saturday, I to wrap presents. I am out to do some studying. I had two TMAs due the next week and we had curry with my brother and sister-in-law. Which was nice. Sunday, Casey went to Evie's for a sleepover. Um, I did my DD212 draft. And I recorded YouTube. And then I had me time. And I had a nice bubble bath, which I know I have. There. Had a nice bubble bath. And then... I don't really like leaving the side blank, but I haven't really got anything to put there. I don't think anything else happened. What I might do. Put this coffee and write every day is coffee day and let's Put, let's just put one of these stickers on just as they are to take up and that says welcome for so that is it guys that is this week let me show you what sticker stickerage I've got left So I've used all of the full boxes. I haven't used any of the ombre boxes. I've used two lots of the glitter headers, but I've still got scripts and icons left. 
I've used most of the boxes bar one there. Haven't used any of those. Used the washi. Got some date things there that I will keep. And this is what's left on this one. So that is the week of the 19th through to the 25th. Memory planned in my A5. I'm forgetting words. In my A5 Hobonichi cousin Avec. So yeah, so I hope you like this video, guys. I'm in love with this. Just look at those four boxes. Let me know which one's your favourite. I think that one's my favourite. Followed closely by that one. And that one. Oh, I like them all. Let me know which one's your favourite down below, guys. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.